Agorism is defined as a libertarian social philosophy that advocates creating a society based upon voluntary exchanges as a means of counter-economics, thus slowly engaging in a form of peaceful revolution. Although a great idea, the ideology that agorists believe in is nothing new. The word agorism stems from the classical Greek word agora, which translates directly to gathering place or assembly and even marketplace. In the agora, which was a central spot within Greek city-states, free trade of all types took place, as did two athletic, artistic, spiritual, and political walks of life. In the Agora, citizens from all classes would gather to trade, barter, and share information. There were no restrictions to what you could or couldn't trade. The trade depended upon the sole discretion of the parties involved. There were no third-party taxes or banks needed to make the transaction possible. The ideology of agorism was partially revived by Samuel Edward Conkin III in 1975 with contributions partly by J. Neil Shulman. Samuel Konkin, a libertarian philosopher, suggested that the agorist ideology could be implemented today by stressing the importance of alternative strategies as opposed to political reform or voting for political candidates in order to achieve a free society. For example, Konkin believed that a free society could be achieved quicker if alternative strategies were employed such as education, direct action, alternative currencies, entrepreneurship, self-sufficiency, and most importantly, counter-economics. Counter-economics is defined by Konkin as the study and or practice of all peaceful human action which is currently forbidden by the state. In short, a great example of this would be the failed war on drugs, which only goes to punish individuals who already have the universal right over their own body. The term is short for counter-establishment economics as well as counter-politics, or in other words, transferring power from the state back to the people in every aspect of life. Agorists believe their message to be scientific because science is an appeal to reason, which is only possible within an agora or a free market. It is believed that if properly and thoroughly applied, agorism could work today. All it would take is for an initial movement to ignite. In many ways, the initial movement is already underway, with some examples as alternative currencies, such as the founding of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, the push for legalization, and the rise in self-sufficiency with families and individuals taking their food and their energy needs into their own hands and learning to become self-sustained. There are many different ways that the individual citizen can engage in agorism themselves, and it is actually quite easy. Here are a few ways to get started. Independent learning and homeschooling are two of the most direct ways that the individual and the family can engage in the agorist movement. Simply by learning a trade, craft, or skill, you are already taking a step in the direction of independence from the current system. Alternative currencies such as cryptocurrencies and even the barter system should be adopted not just as a means of survival, but to also hone in on the skill of bartering in general. Rendering cash useless a few days of the week and learning to trade your services for what you may need is a great way to get started amongst your friends, family, and neighborhood. You don't have to go out and start your own business, but think about what you and your loved ones can offer the world. Whether it is physical healing like teaching yoga or providing massages, or even a skill more tangible such as being able to provide clothing or food from scratch, the point of entrepreneurship is for all of us to once again become industrious. Gardening from home, raising small animal livestock, and becoming well-versed in first aid are three great ways to obtain a more self-sufficient household. Furthermore, learning how to can and jar, store seeds, build and repair, and even hold neighborhood meet and greets will rid you, your family, and your neighborhood off of a system that is doomed to collapse. Counter-economics, or counter-politics, refers back to achieving a free society by means of voluntarism. 
The goal of this is, with time, the state's perceived moral authority and power will have been reevaluated and undermined, thus ultimately recognizing taxation as a form of theft and war as a form of mass murder. In the end, government would be suppressed into a criminal activity as it is the state that chooses when violence and theft are allowed. Engaging in counter-economics is relatively easy and just takes civil disobedience or direct action to begin. The first step can be not recognizing laws that are unconstitutional as well as not obeying unjust laws such as consuming raw milk, collecting rainwater, or remaining confined to a First Amendment zone. Counter-economics allows for immediate self-liberation from status control of all acts of forbidden association, including sexual, racial, and cross-religious association, and anything else the state, at any time or place, chooses to prohibit, control, regulate, tax, or tariff.